And welcome back, one and all, to Trade Cards Mission Briefing, your weekly Wednesday dose of Star Trek discussion, theorization, review, first look, all the above of this big multiverse of Star Trek from canon, non canon, aliens, federation, anything in between, whatever is between those words. Today is an interesting ship, it's a ship in 3D, and hopefully Stuart will like it because it's an Enterprise ish esque design. I know how Stuart likes the Enterprises. At least the Connie, anyway, and the refurb. There you go. And the C, and the D, and the E. Today we're looking at an interesting <laughs> ship uh, done by Billy Holm. Um, this is the USS Hydra. And there you see it on your screen. Now, immediately I have an issue. Besides the Hail Hydra thing. Oh, that's never an issue for us, Jeff. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, sorry. Hail Hydra. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> A ship called Hydra should at least have six warp nacelles, maybe eight, you know, because the Hydra is a multi-headed creature, and you know it should have something multi. This is, that is not. So or, why is it called the Hydra? Or at least six bridge modules. There, maybe it does. Six heads. I don't know. Yeah. It's got three. It's got three uh, lights on the. the Literally the screen. entire soldier's bridge modules. <laughs> Redundancy. Four gets Wouldn't destroyed. Awesome? Two more will turn on. <laughs> Until they're all blown up. Yeah, so this was a model we found um, on the TrekMissions.com site, to be your home, as you said. Pretty new model. Um, I saw it, I thought, I really want to know Stuart's opinion. So yeah, first first impression. This is not the best view, um, but we'll get into all the other views pretty quickly. First impression, Stuart. I think it looks fantastic. I love the color palette. I love the nacelle colors they've chosen. Mm. It's kind of got the the mix of the uh, the remastered Enterprise look, and you got the blue and the... You know the orange and stuff inside there, which is really neat. I like that. Um, it's the first view I've seen of it. I haven't looked at any other ones, so I don't know about the struts and all that. I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like in more detail. But overall, I'm impressed. It looks like a very small ship, something like a destroyer class, uh, somewhere around there. Not very big. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, learning more about it. And, I, and I, this is why you know we're sort of Trek professionals at this point that we can guess these things. Yeah, it is a small ship, and small I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just another. Connie variant, as it were. Yeah, it's a weird one. It, it's Trek, but it's... What era is it from? I don't know. Is it, uh, it's not... Yeah, it, it looks like between Enterprise and TOS, for sure. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that way around. Oh, yeah, it could be. It could be, like, the, the first... could be a, a Bonaventure wannabe, <laughs> in a sense. It's actually pretty yeah. close, just NX version. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty good. Obviously, it's got the three um, spotlights like the JJ Prize does have. But that actually makes sense for a big registry number in the dark of space. You'd want something that would light them up, and I like that idea. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel? So, would you li would you like the registry number if you were designing ships or just the USS? I'd have to. I'd, I'd, all of it. Okay. For sure. Because, I mean, you need to. The registry numbers are important, so you know what ship you're. You know, because you know, it's not like you have sensors or anything that can tell you what it is. You know what I mean? Like, you got to look out the window and look at the hall. Stuart, right, Stuart, so. stop using yeah. real Star Trek logic. Please. Oh, Please, Stuart. Sorry. Sorry. So, that'll scale. You're right. Now, I don't know the real scale, um, but I guesstimated the real scale based on window scale, as that is what we tend to do. So, if you're in the next picture, that is roughly basing the windows off the windows of the, the Connie saucer. Um, what do you think? Does that look about right, maybe? Mm, looks maybe a little smaller than I would have thought based on the bridge module mm. in the last picture because I would have sized it by bridge module a little bit more I think um, when does it, be huge, does, it does look yeah it does look recessed a little bit so and of course the bridge doesn't have to be the same size on a smaller yeah. vessel so yeah. uh, I actually like this scaling mm. uh, uh, wow <laughs> yeah me too I was I was I didn't realize how cute, cute and small it like it works when you recess everything that much and and shrink yeah. it. Yeah, it's just a it's just a, a Connie baby Connie, like a cousin of a Connie. You know, same things but in a different formation. Uh huh. Um, it's an interesting profile. It's uh, the, the placement of the nacelles is interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like that per se. <laughs> I, if if you're gonna put it there. Uh, where it comes out of the secondary hull, you should have them angled back, in my opinion. Like the the refit. Uh, that, I think that would be a nicer look for this ship. Um, 
but that's just my opinion. So yeah, it's actually very stout. They've they've tried to bring everything in a lot, considering yeah. the nacelle placement where the cells uh, have on the pylon. Yeah, it's all been brought in a bit, and it makes it feel a lot more. I don't know. Yeah, just stout, compact, uh, eff efficient, maybe. I don't know. Like you actually get a warp bubble, like a nice little teeny bubble, as opposed to the much more elongated oval from the Connie. Yeah, and that neck is a lot more JJ slash refit. It's an interesting mix yeah. of components because it's yeah, it's jumbling a whole lot up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's definitely got. Uh NX era parts, uh, the hull coloring is unique, so the blue markings on it, they're also very unique. Mm. Um, but then it's got the JJ, like you said, neck, the spotlights. It's a nice marrying of a lot of different things, and I think it comes together beautifully. Just a bit so. too stout. Just a little bit. Yeah. So I think even the sauce is a little bit more lessened than the Tony. Uh, I think uh, it could be scaling up or down, but in proportion, feels a little bit less. Mm. I do like the the cutout though being so broad. It's obviously more like the refit, and then some. Uh, although it makes it makes that back portion look a lot more like a fine piece, you know, like when you're stepping, uh, or if you stepped physically onto the shuttle bay deck, you could you know punch a hole in the floor and boom, you've got space. That's how thin it is, you know. Unlike yeah. the 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 Connie, we can see it's this nice big, big bulky piece. Yeah, even even sizing the shuttle bay, it almost seems a little too small. But well, windows are tricky because yeah, they are absolutely. I mean, just you can see that the windows are all in different part, like different planes on the ship as well. Like on the saucer, it's like they're not even on the same line, so you know, it's tricky. But the next picture is um, scaled it just to the same size as the Connie mm. and the refit as a sort of in between. And you can see obviously that yeah, it's too big because the windows are well, 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 well too big, um, which mm. is why I scaled it down. What do you think about this version? It just doesn't look right proportion-wise, um, based on the, the configuration that it has. It doesn't fit this sizing. Yeah, I like. I do like it smaller. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So I, I say no to this size, even though this is what I was basically just talking about. The shuttle bay is more mm -hmm. online, and uh -huh. so is the bridge module. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't seem to work. So, but what do you think compared to the shapes of the? Because you can see the the hybrid of shapes a little bit clearer here. Nah. Like I said, it incorporates a lot of different feels from different eras. Uh, I don't really see much refit in it. I mean, except for the the torpedo launchers and the flatter, uh, the flatter array. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it's cool. Don't know what else to say. Fair enough. The next picture is a front view. Again, this is one that I think you were waiting to see. This is the comparison. And again, scale to just the same size, roughly. Not what I was expecting from the front view. I'm going to be honest when I put this together. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. Um, it's unique for sure. Uh, it's weird. Definitely a different, definitely a different feel. Weird. <laughs> yeah, more stubby, so like saucer, and I like I love I like the nacelle shape. Okay. I don't know if I would have put them out so far though. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe tuck them in a little bit, uh, but no, I actually it's kind of neat looking. I like the de I like the deflector dish. So that's cool. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like a marrying between like the refit deflector and the Enterprise E. <laughs> you know, the blue mm. coloring with the with the same kind of detail as the E. But uh, wow, that's kind of cool. I thought we'd be less less happy with that. I'm kind of impressed. Um, kind of feels like a pancake to me that that saucer. It just has this flat flatness. It's, oh, that's weird. It, it feels again like someone's in first shop sort of just dragged things out a bit. You know? The secondary hull is just like pulled out a bit and then the cells. I mean, the struts are just. Yeah, it's, it's a very oddly proportioned. It's not. It's not beautiful. And it's not artistically right. But it has a. It works together. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, I do like it. I mean, yeah. I gotta say it's it's an interesting take on, and I, I think it looks cool. From this angle, it looks great. I mean, from other angles, I think with those nacelles being placed like that, it's not gonna look the best. Well, we've got but those angles. Again, like I'd like I'd like to see this in motion though. 
Well, Mission Brief. So Don't do that. Everything. That's the full episode, I'm sorry. But the next picture, Stuart, is a back view. And you can see that the uh, warp engines have no blue and no blue whatever. The internal grills are now these big grills. The after is actually still quite like a TOS, but uh, lots of levels, lots of bulk. What do you think of this one? Mm. It's got less finesse to it. You know, like you said, the inner grills are very simple. Um, the impulse engines are just rectangles. They need to be changed. Uh, they're just looks like, almost like an afterthought stuck on there. Yeah. Here you really get a feel for the JJ style neck, though, with mm. the curve on it uh, and that detailing on the side. It just it says JJ. Um, yeah, yeah. It's not a bad view. I mean, it actually looks kind of cool, uh, but there's just a few things I see that need kind of need some refinement. I think. Yeah, it, it does again show the the squashed nature of things so it kind of feels like the second hill's been sort of pulled out squashed in a little bit although actually it's got a if you look at the weather the struts go into the secondary hole it's actually got reinforced like bits that stick out yeah. to, to kind of like the much more plug and play element yeah hmm. all right so moving to the next picture this is a close-up of the uh shuttle bay at the back and this again there's not as there's not as much detail there as i'd like <laughs> Yeah, I like the phasers being right there though. That's yeah. uh, that's a nice touch. I think this is a nice view. You don't you don't get a sense of how flat the saucer is and the engines have that nice curve. And actually, you can see you know inside the grills of the there engines, is blue glow. Uh, it is a blue glow. So it's very yeah. subdued. Um, I guess it's like a NX Connie point five. It's like we're gonna have them internal, have grilling, but make it very subtle so it's not visible unless you look at it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. The other interesting thing is the uh, the airlocks on the side. I noticed this in the last picture too. Yeah. Um, they do jut out quite a bit, uh, yeah. which is an interesting take on an airlock. It would. I don't know if it makes sense to have them sticking out. It makes more sense for me to have them sticking in, like on the refit, because you can dock something into it, you know, to mm. complete the connection. That almost looks like a restraining bolt. <laughs> maybe this thing isn't. Maybe this thing isn't supposed to be firing weapons, so they slept on a restraining bolt on the side. And, it wasn't the ship you were looking for, but it's still the restraining bolt to them. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe it's just like a secondary airlock. You know, maybe it, it's you know second pressurization chamber, or if an enemy docks, then it allows you to jettison that and make it useless. Sure. Or it's just visual detail. <laughs> That'd be the easy one. Yeah. I don't know. But the next picture is a close-up of the top view. We can see the basards again. An interesting combination. I like the minimal cage. Mm. Um, I mean, okay, it's worth saying, very nipply. That's not a rude word, we can say that. It's true. Um, but the minimalness of that actually kind of works. Like, it implies maybe it needs some structural reinforcement, like there's a, there's a, there's a, a pin that, mm. that goes through the entire bulb, because it's almost like a bulb, and it keeps it, main, you know, together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting take on the nacelle caps, for sure. Oh, you know what they say? It's cold in space, so they do uh, say that. But, yeah. <laughs> One of the things I like, uh, besides the color, I love the color of the ship. I think that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I also like the the stepping that we got on that saucer there. Yeah. I mean, if you extended that out to like a Constitution class size saucer and have like another step down, hmm. right at the rim there, hmm. uh, going out to the, f I think that looks very cool. It'd be a neat design. Uh, it's different yet the same. Yeah. And I'm not really a huge fan of that impulse crystal. It looks too basic. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic as well. Somehow, it, it it's well. I guess it, having a step look kind of does. Eh. I, I think the ship, the ship has very few reef elements. It's strange to throw that on there. Like if it was if it was internal. So for example, if that was then recessed, it was flat. You saw a small bit of glow with some mm -hmm. other technology. It's like it's there, and then the constitution class they overlay it. Doesn't need to be visible, you know. And then the the, the crystal because the crystal in the reef it's pretty. It's still inside of a piece. It's not sticking out per se. It's inside another yeah. element, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this one certainly stands out. Unless maybe that could be a secondary bridge module, the battle bridge. Nah. When the ship flies backwards. There you go. What do you think those little details are on that first saucer rim? 
the step because it's got little things yeah. along the entire line, and it's very obviously very deliberate detail. What could that be, be? Uh, the RCS thrusters, the maneuvering thrusters? That yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah, be a natural place to put them. Although mm. there, there's quite a few of them, but it could imply that this is a smaller ship and very maneuverable, designed to yeah. I mean, you turn on a dime. You use what you've got. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting the bridge module. I don't know if we've got a close up, so I might save that. It's just a skim. No, we haven't. Yeah, the bridge module. I'm I'm kind of surprised there's those, those windows on the side. Uh -huh. So maybe it's a very small bridge, and then that's the second deck, or is that just rooms either side of the bridge? Maybe. Uh, could be. Could be like the the bridges in the middle, and there's like a hallway around, and that's where the, those windows are. Um, or it could be the second deck, but no. that would make this sizing odd. Yeah. Difficult to get sizing consistent, especially when you're. I, mean, I know I'm working on that something right now. I think we're gonna do something like today. It's like sizing is important, and when you're trying to integrate other parts, it's like, well, how do you size everything together? But the next picture, Stuart, um, the close with that impulse crystal, the impulse mm. deck, very rudimentary. Yeah, clearly the you know run out of time. That's the last piece sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, that definitely needs some refinement. The whole thing. Uh, I do like the way it integrates into the saucer. Yeah. Uh, with that stepping look uh, of, the, of the saucer and kind of goes straight through. I like that. Well, I, but I the shapes, the, sh the shape at the back is too bulky and needs to be. I I feel like what this ship is is a in between step and X like an X and Constitution class. This is the one or two steps before it. They suddenly could smooth out all the shapes. You know, there is not that beautiful smoothing of the of the, of the saucer. It's a step look. That's, you know, a step look that goes up slightly. You know, it doesn't have that same, as Doug would say, smooth lines and, and coral alive feel. It, it's that one step, two steps below that. Yeah. yeah. This is made of girders sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. But I do like that look. That step look saucer is very cool. I would well, like to see more of that, of that. Back to something else you do like. The next picture is the a really good detail view, I think, of the uh, deflector bay, or deflector dish, and mm -hmm. the torpedoes. Which I dig, and then something above the torpedoes, which I don't know what that is. Just something of. Could be a tractor beam, beam emitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That looks like a stained glass deflector, and I like maybe that. It is. Maybe, maybe that's where the cathedral is. There's a big church inside. Sure, this isn't, this isn't the Klingons. This isn't the ancient Klingons. Calm down. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, huh. Yeah, I, I I do like the deflector. I think it's I think it's a neat, neat look, neat colors. Uh, it works for me, and especially with the color of the hull, yeah. I think it's, it comes together nicely. Yeah. And the next picture is a shot of it from the front. Now, are those torpedo launchers on the front? That would imply the one on the neck is as well, because it it. You. Mm. Same detail, and there's a bunch of single phaser turrets, <laughs> dual uh, phaser turrets. I, yeah, buy it. Having you know, hell of a good firing arc. Then, I mean, why have dual turrets? Why not have single turrets? I mean, does that not make more sense? Yeah, you'd think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, what, this yeah. is a nice, a nice view of it. I like this. Yeah. I guess you could say maybe the neck ones are the dual fire, like the the, the, the machine gun versions, a bigger barrel, whatever, and then the other ones are single fire or even probe launchers. But then again, the scale is so small that you look at a yeah. window and they're thinner than the one third of the size of a window. That's not a lot of room for anything. Um, yeah. 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 I, it's I a know. mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. And that's our last picture. So we'll go back yeah. to the first picture. Um, yeah, and and we'll continue to hail Hydra and uh, talk about the some conquering of Earth. With the Hydra. Yes. My final thought is I think this is a fantastic design. Needs a little bit of refinement, um, and I need to know the scaling. I need to. Uh, you need it. You yeah, need it in your need life. To know so I can <laughs> decide whether it's a good ship or not. Uh, but make a few changes, especially to the impulse deck and things. Um, and I think it would be much, a much a, a welcome addition to the fleet. I, I, I think it's a fantastic looking ship. So there you go. That's my opinion. But yeah, for me, it's kind of a an off-brand 
<laughs> Connie, it's kind of like got all the same pieces but in different ways. It doesn't exactly fit in the eras. There's lots of like they've gone this one weird sidestep, um, you know, which which is fine. Um, I don't, I think it's meant to be their take on the shapes rather than something that fits into canon, and therefore you can give it some flack. I'll give it some um uh, some some allowances for that. But yeah, I like it. It's it's weirdly proportioned but kind of works. I do think you're right. Emotion, it might really come together. Maybe it has a real swooping feel. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, not my favourite, um, but I like it, and some elements are quite interesting. But I just wanted to show you another, another Connie variant, because you're yeah, really a Connie cool. man. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I saw it and was like, ooh. Ooh, there you go. And there you go, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and uh, comment on this video if you like the design. If you don't like the design, what you think will improve it. If you designed it yourself, say hi. That's right. And if you want to help us out, you can do so mm. by clicking the link in the description below for Patreon. That's our monthly donation service. Or heading over to trekyards.com because every little bit does help, guys. So until next time, I'm Captain Foley. And I am Commander Coffins. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Hail Hydra. <laughs>